happy. They're so cute. day here but I am doing the forts walking trail and I'm looking at a map here um, probably also going to do Horseshoe Bay but the forts walk you can see koalas you can see World War II relics and it's just beautiful and it's not too too hot um, I'm feeling okay I definitely have a COVID brain like the brain fog but hopefully that will get better over the days but anyway Welcome to Magnetic Island. We're going to take advantage of the day that we have here and let's go explore. Magnetic Island is located basically in slash near Townsville. You take the ferry over to Magnetic Island. It only has about 2,000 or so residents, so it's a pretty small island. It's filled with absolutely beautiful wildlife and it's definitely worth a visit. The island really became well known in the Second World War because it was an important defensive position due to its proximity to Townsville, which was an important military base. As I said, I did the Fort's walking trail and this was an artillery battery and observation post, which again was really important during the Second World War. So you can kind of see like this building, you can kind of see some relics, if you want to call it that, of World War II. But yeah, it's just a very cool kind of history lesson of sorts, but I definitely recommend doing the trail. There's beautiful sights to be seen, and you may learn a thing or two as you walk on the trail. It's also a very popular thing to do when you're in Magnetic Island. Then I headed to Radical Bay, which is a beautiful overlook on a beautiful beach. <laughs> Radical Bay, and it's a beautiful overlook of the water. <laughs> Honestly, it's very hot and very tired, um, but there's a few other places I want to see, so I'm going to sit here for a little bit longer and then go on the rest of those places. <clears throat> I don't know why I sound terrible, but. I do. After chilling at Radical Bay for a bit, I continued my hike. And as I mentioned earlier, Magnetic Island is really well known for wildlife and they're really well known for their wild koalas that like to just chill in the trees. So I actually saw two sleeping koalas and it was probably the highlight of my time on the island. After a lovely hike, I went over to explore some other areas of the island. I first went over to the butterfly walk, which typically would have more butterflies depending on the time of year. There weren't too many, but it was still kind of a nice peaceful place to visit and just get into nature. I think I was also trying to show a spider here, but I don't really think you can see it, but it's there, I promise. And then I went over to Horseshoe Bay, which is kind of I guess one of the more populous areas if you will there's some cute stores and restaurants and bars and then you have the beautiful beach here I was here actually for a while because I was actually trying to get the bus to my next place but yeah I spent a lot of time at Horseshoe Bay then my final place was to actually see the rock wallabies so they're tiny tiny little wallabies that live in the boulders here they are so so cute just like the koalas i felt so lucky to see them and interact with them you can actually feed them technically but you know obviously you don't want to feed them like a sandwich or anything like that but you can feed them apples and carrots etc but just be mindful you know you don't want to overfeed them you don't want them to become dependent on tourists but they are absolutely adorable and they do come out around sunset so just time your visit appropriately 
But otherwise, that was all the time I had on Magnetic Island. I was planning on spending more time in Magnetic Island, but because I got sick, I had to cut my time short here. But I definitely will be back. It was just such a magical place, and I can't wait to come back in the future. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Please follow me on my social media channels, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Remember to wander far and wander often. Good morning from Karen's 